Hey guys, putting together the uh, extension cord for the welder today. It's going to end up being a 25 foot 10 with ground. Uh, so it's going to have actually two hots and the ground coming back. I'm going to have to label the white, which normally would be the neutral or the return. I'm going to have to label that red so everybody knows it's too hot. Um, I've got 230, 230 volt 30 amp coming out of the wall, and then I got 230 volt 20 amp. Uh, input to the welder so I had to buy the correct connections but the welder is internally protected for up to you know up the from 20 amps up and then the wall is only 30 amps so it'll trip uh, and with the welder only being a 20% duty cycle I only get you know what 12 minutes out of that so I can only I can only weld 12 minutes out of an hour um, then I need to let it cool down especially out here with as hot as it gets up here in the high desert should be an easy day let's go ahead and see how this turns out I found was that uh, my fabric marker idea didn't work so now I am going to try this Stetler permanent and it's I don't think it's gonna focus but does Deutsch so I th think this should work it works on everything else I've ever tried to use it on, so we'll put it on here as neatly and best as we can, give it a few minutes to dry, and then see how quickly, if at all, it rubs off. Okay, yeah, it's been a few minutes, and as you can see now, it's dried on, and this stuff isn't coming off. Uh, this stuff may not even come off with alcohol. It's designed to be an alcohol pen. Um, anybody who's ever uh, written on, you know, like uh, laminated maps or uh, geocache, uh, a lot of off-road, they'll recognize these markers. Um, I've always had really good luck with them. Again, they're Stetlers. You will pay a pretty penny for them, but they write in almost anything, and it takes uh, rubbing alcohol or better to get them off. I'm having a lot of problems with this uh, this solid wire. You know, it's not it's not real pliable, not real flexible. It's hard to get to move. Um, I think I probably would have been better off to use uh, stranded wire instead of solid wire. But oh well, I'm gonna go ahead and keep building it now. We'll see how it goes and come back and uh, revisit this if we need to later on.
All right, that fits nice and tight. Now we gotta do the other end. As you can see with the ground wire not being sheathed, I'm, I'm starting to think I'm gonna see some issues here with it possibly contacting the other two and I don't, I don't know, I'll go ahead and string it up and see how it does. I mean, this is a learning experience as much as anything else for me. Alright, moment of truth. Um, I'm always saying, you know, let's see how this goes. Well, now we're gonna, you know, plug in 230 30 amp breaker. Go ahead and plug this stuff in and pop that breaker and see what happens with it. Uh, I hooked it up the best I could and we will see what happens. out there for another couple of minutes and then uh, I will go ahead and call you in about two minutes. It, it should start smoking almost immediately if there's something wrong. 